Welcome. Check your Mercury and Radio Virgo in your astrological chart. All the information you're looking for is in the description box down below. And thank you so much for supporting Psychic Sid. If you like a personal reading, information is in the description box down below next to the butterfly. What is Virgo's spirit animal? What is Virgo's spirit animal? Okay. The elk. Okay, nobility. Okay. So I feel like you're experiencing a lot of accomplishments. And during this time, you are also having a lot of self-confidence and humility. You are being blessed and crowned with success. Your royalty is shining brightly, Virgo. And there are many powerful forces that are guiding you during this time. It's your ability to conquer challenges that is absolutely limitless. Limitless. Okay. That's beautiful. You can overcome anything. Absolutely anything. I feel that you are coming into a lot of abundance. A lot of abundance. Let's see, Virgo. That's the future for Virgo. Okay. Oh, look at that. The Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Beautiful. Oh. Okay. Virgo. Okay, strength. I love it. Okay. Future for Virgo. Okay. Future for Virgo. All right. Future for Virgo. All right. Three of Cups is a reverse. Oh, uh, <laughs> really? Really? Wow. Okay, this is what I'm saying. Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Two of Wands, Aries, Scorpio. Beautiful. That is some great energy. You have the Devil, Capricorn, Six of Swords, Mercury, and Aquarius. Okay. You have Strength, Venus, and Leo. And you have Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, and Saturn. You have underneath the deck, Three of Cups, Cancer, and Mercury, Princess of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Ophetius, Hierophant, Taurus, Ten of Wands, Sagittarius, and Saturn. Beautiful chariot, Cancer, Aries, Scorpio. Okay. This is what's going to happen. Mm hmm Okay. All right. So, if you're in a relationship, I see you getting out of a relationship. Being okay with going your own way. I see you have a, a Capricorn, an Aquarius, Gemini, Virgo. They would have this in their Mercury. Or they would have Virgo in their Uranus, their Mercury, or their Saturn. They are trying to block your blessings. Okay? Whoever has those placements, trying to block your blessings and you're not allowing. Because there's something coming for you that you're being blessed with, Virgo. Okay? So if you're in a relationship, you're trying to get away from somebody who is actually toxic. Um, if this is a relationship, they're codependent, they are jealous, they are uh, they have addictions, they can also be like in a relationship. Um, they can't get over the past. 
they don't want to move on. They're not listening to their spirit guide. So they don't want you to listen to yours if you're in a relationship. They don't want you to listen to it. You could be a man or a woman in a relationship. And you're dealing with somebody who does not want to allow you to head towards something you're looking at. See, the two of wands, if you're in a relationship, you're looking at another love option, but it's in another state or another country. So, a lot of you are letting go of a relationship, but you have a brand new opportunity coming towards you. If someone's traveling overseas, or someone's traveling to another state or country, and it's gonna be very solid. Ace of Pentacles, towards Virgo Cap. It's going to be extremely solid. Um, this is being planned, and it's going to come into fruition. It's a blessing. In the next 11 days, I feel like you're planning to offer somebody something. And you're focused on that because it's growing. This has growth. This has potential to grow into something absolutely beautiful. And it does take time, right? The camels in the back have a lot of water in them. So there's a lot of emotion that is driving you during this time towards success. I see you've turned your back on a toxic relationship. If you were like boyfriend and girlfriend, so you turned your back on it. You're, you're breaking up with them, basically. But you have strength, so you beat the devil. You, you were in a relationship with like Satan, like the devil, with something that was really toxic. And... You overcame it with strength. Venus and Leo, Seven of the Pentacles, Taurus and Saturn. There's a very strong um, connection being formed with somebody that you've known for a very long time. Um, there, you have history with somebody. You, you're also looking to retire. You're looking to go back to school. You could have met someone at school before as well there's a really strong connection that you are investing in now okay that's what's coming up in your future but you did let go of something that was was just not gonna work if you were addicted to not letting go of the past if you were addicted to um a relationship that was just extremely toxic you know with boyfriend or girlfriend but it's we're not happy or whatever you know the relationship you're letting it go because you have a stronger relationship with somebody else. Strength represents a love that doesn't come around very often. It also represents like someone works in the entertainment industry. This is unconditional love of self. This is self-confidence. This is um this is a relationship. It was toxic because one person is more emotionally strong than the other person, and there's some like it's being taken for granted in the relationship, which is why it's being let go. Someone's letting it go. There will be, um, if this is a relationship, it's like you guys stop talking and you move your separate ways. You know, you decide to be single and move your separate ways, I'm saying. Because it's, there's no, how do I explain that? In a relationship, there's no getting over the past because it's that toxic. And if you're single, you overcame holding on to the negative emotions of the past in order to, to let in a connection. And it's a connection with somebody you have history with. And it's strong and it's healthy. You want to know what type of love strength is? Strength is like... <laughs> strength is like... Uh, You lose your job. You are a CEO, right? You lose your job. Now you work at a fast food restaurant. Mine are kind of the efforts, right? This woman will still love you. You used to drive a Rolls Royce. Now you drive maybe a less expensive, more affordable car. Or you ride the bus. She still loves you. You 
end up having to face time behind jail. Right? You, you have to face time and, and go to jail. This person would hold you down and be like you're wrong. And still love you. And be faithful to you. This is that type of relationship and connection that you are now beginning to invest in. You've been studying it, really trying to see, you know, can this work? Right? And it has a sense of youthfulness to it because there's a child, right? It has a sense of youthfulness to it. You may have known someone when you were younger. And like now there's a level of maturity, right? I am the tiger type of thing. Like you guys have survived through a lot independently and to come together. Strength also represents like This is the type of relationship where you could kill somebody with this person and they wouldn't say anything. That, that's the extreme, but that's the truth. Strength represents the mob, the mafia. What type of relationship and connection is necessary in order for you to kill somebody and know that the other person that you did it with won't say anything? A very strong connection, right? This is also what type of relationship had to be developed for her to get on top of a tiger, which is it's typically a lion, but this is also um, saying what type of relationship for it to trust that she's going to get on its back and not hurt it and that it won't hurt her. A very strong relationship. Right? Now, if you're single, this is a relationship becoming more official. There's no long, there's no third parties. There's no, oh, you know, I'm dating this person and dating this person. There's none of that. This is a relationship becoming just two people. If you're, if you're single, you're getting into a relationship. And if you're in a relationship, there's been cheating. Okay? If you're single, this is no longer multiple dating. It's now just two people, two single people coming together. And that's the truth with the Princess of Wands. This is also somebody at a distance. It's a very honest message. Pisces, um, it's actually not Pisces. It's actually Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Fuchsius. Okay? But I feel like confusion is being cleared. I see the snake here. Kundalini, Ankh. This can also be connected to past lives. You, you could be coming into awareness of this being inspired from your past lives, right? Um, if you're in a relationship, your partner loves drama. And if you are single, this is a good message of intention. Like, it's, it's a, a message of good intention. It's the honest truth, and this person's really far away from you. Probably another country, another state, at an extreme far distance. But they're telling the truth, and it's a message you really, 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 really like. Also, um, in this process of getting into a relationship and a commitment or connection, other relationships and connections are falling off, right? Like friends that um, gossip about you or are not authentic, right? Don't support um the connection or relationship that you're now heading into. This can also be like if it's a job, right? And it um, has lost a level of joy, then you're letting that go. If you want a spiritual business, it is extremely profitable. You're also going to be getting into a relationship with somebody we you got a vote from the same constitution, institution, foundation, church, or service. You could be seeing a priest, a bishop, a shaman. This is marriage. You could be married. Um, if you want a spiritual business, many people come for your services. Um, it's like of all ages. It's like when I go through, when I go on my meditation walk, right? I go daily. And I have little kids that come up to me, they run up to me, 
And I mean, we're talking like eight, nine, ten kids. They're like, read my poem, read my poem, read my poem, right? And I, I read their poems. And I say, you're so much stronger than you know. You know, you're like a warrior, like spirit. And I, I predict their futures and, and let them know that they're going to be beautiful and, 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 and great individuals in this world and that they already are. I had a, a little girl come up to me. I would say this was like three or four days ago, probably. She ran up to me. And I remember her because she had told me uh, once she was like, you are so beautiful and never let anybody tell you different. I said, oh, thank you. You're so sweet. You're beautiful as well. And um, I remember she was like, read my poem. And I was reading the poem. And she's like, you are so thick and skinny and oh, I'm so fat. I wish I was skinny. I wish I was like that. And I, you know, I told her, I said, you are absolutely gorgeous. And never let anybody tell you to You are so much greater than you know. Never let the world do your shine. You are beyond perfect and whole in the entirety in this very moment. Know that and hold your head up high. It's like that, how it's of all ages. Spirituality knows no age, okay? It really doesn't. Um, the children are our future, aren't they? They are. But I see you coming to an end of a burdensome job. If you've been in a relationship and you know it's it's a burden, right? You have Sagittarius or Capricorn in your Mercury, or you have Virgo in your Saturn, Virgo in your Jupiter. Then you are letting go of something like a relationship, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. It's too heavy. A job is too heavy. It's performance punishment, right? You do all this work and your employees and, and colleagues and stuff, they get to go on vacation and you don't have to do, you know, you have all this other work to do and you don't have any work to do. You're letting it go. Because you've been holding on to it, right? Trying to do it. You're moving forward to rags to riches story. I love it. If you're in a relationship, you're leaving it behind. You're like, look, I'm going to choose what makes me happy and that's me. This is also um, heading into a long distance travel relationship, like a, a long distance relationship. Someone's also traveling over states, overseas, okay? This is watched over from above. Watched over from above, yeah. If it's a, you could be seeing an astrologer as well. Or dealing with somebody who is like famous, okay? There's fame here. There's a partner coming into your life, Virgo, that matches everything that you want in a partner. Absolutely everything. And they're going to be communicating to you. They could be in sales communication, they could work with the psyche. Um, this person wants to like take you out or spend time with you, communicate to you. You're not selling for less. This person could work in like uh, psychology. They think the whole wide world of you and they miss you as well. You see how he's looking up at the world? Someone could be from another like culture or a different place in the world, different state, different country. This is also a reunion, reconciliation. If this is a relationship, it's based completely on money. It has nothing to do with love. If you're a business owner, it's extremely successful. I'm also seeing if you're in a competition, you're gonna win the competition. Okay? Whatever that is for you. 
You could be developing an app. And a lot of you guys are letting go of a relationship. Like, um, it could be Mercury and Aquarius or Aquarius, uh, or like Virgo and the Uranus. Letting go of a connection where in the relationship, right, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, it's, it's uh, solely based off of the need for validation and has nothing to do with love. There's also erectile dysfunction, cheating, and multiple parties if there's a relationship. It's heartbreaking. Healing from communicable disease and ignoring one's intuition and um, spying. There is a, okay, there's a feminine energy that has Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini in their Mercury. Or they have Virgo um, in their Venus, their Uranus, or their Mercury. And they're spying, okay? Or they're, they're like gossiping very maliciously about you because you're heading to the sun. They cannot have children. They're very bitter. Not your problem, okay? You're heading towards the sun. If somebody's pregnant, it's a girl. No, no, if I can say it's a girl, it's a boy. It's a boy. Very strong boy. And if you end up in a relationship and you get married and have children and whatnot. I mean, if you do get married, you'd have children with this person because they don't have children. This is someone who wouldn't have children. But it can also represent that someone's just famous. Okay? But it's the sun. This is love at first sight. Okay. And two people who know how to have a relationship and believe in relationships. And it helps you guys both learn how to love yourselves gently. It gently teaches you guys to love yourselves. As well as there's a lot of learning new ways to connect in a relationship. It's very transformational. Um, very open to change. Like, let me add a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And it leads to happiness. Someone lives in a hot climate. Someone works in the entertainment industry or works with children with the sun. Okay. Leah is the therapist. Somebody makes you feel like a teen again. You see how you're wrapped with the snake, but it's actually like a very lightful snake. It, it represents that you're coming into alignment, especially with your solar plexus and your confidence. Um, someone brings joy into your life. They're never trying to take it away from you. Because it's a very strong relationship. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's beautiful. Yeah, you got the. You're heading right into the Two of Cups. Venus and Cancer could be Leo. Best friends and lovers. You guys are on the same page. You see how he's. It's like the the two snakes. It's like feminine and masculine energy coming into one. You guys aren't just on the same page, but you're in the same words, same syllables, same everything. <laughs> and it allows you to know you don't always have to be on guard. You see how he's laying down and she's offering something that he knows he can trust to drink? There's nothing very scary about this. It just feels good, right? It just feels good. And you deserve this, Barbara. I see travel plans are being made. You could be starting a new vitamin routine. If there is addiction, it's because it's difficult to get over the, um, it's, my fault. it's because it's difficult to get over the past. I drew like a blank right there. What is Virgo's joy? You have tan complexion and 20s. So someone is in their 20s, 
and they have a tan complexion, okay? Um, but your joy can also symbolize, I always say this when I go on my meditation, I say just like, enjoy the sun, you know, get the vitamin D on. I'm like, I'm turning into a golden nugget, you know. <laughs> That's my mentality, you know. Um, yeah, you could be spending a lot of time in the sun. Right? The sun is amazing for you. And the 20s always represents that there's, um, it's okay if you haven't done things right. Okay, it's okay if you're still learning what right is for you. And it's okay if you feel like, oh my gosh, I've reached a lot of success. I feel like I've reached my peak because you haven't reached your peak. There's so much more for you to learn. And the truth is, when you get to your 30s, that's when you experience your sadness return and you really come into a sense of evolution of what is it that you want to do in this lifetime or what you're leaving behind. So like a report card in this universe. So if you feel like, man, I don't, I don't know if I'm doing this right. I, I feel like um, I should have done more, right? Like in your career or your life or whatever, you're doing just fine, Virgo, okay? If you're like, I, I don't know if I'm doing love right, you're doing just fine, Virgo. Whatever it is, you're doing just fine. Don't overstress yourself and don't um, have fear. Because... Whatever you let go of was extremely toxic. And now you're connecting to somebody who's very positive. So if it feels really good, you're like, oh my God, why did this feel so good? Because it's natural. Because it's meant to be. Okay? What is going to happen to Virgo that they should know? 48. Okay? Number 12. All right. <laughs> Congratulations. You have yes, 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 yes. It's written all over your reading. That's crazy. Some of you are just seen on the World Wide Web and like, it, it, it is, you got yes written all over here. You will get your wish. Okay. 48 is good today for games of chance, if inclined that way. If you would use the talent fate has given you to write, you'd win success in prose or verse in serious themes or light. A long delayed package of value will shortly come to you. You'll get your wish. Sure. Congratulations. Some of you have really wanted um, a love interest. Say you're single, you've always wanted somebody, you get that person. This is all happening in the next 11 days. I'm also seeing... That's interesting. You're finally letting go of, you're letting go of a mindset that led to you being detached and wanting to be perfect. If you've always wanted a particular job, you will, this is like loving your job, loving what you do. If you love your job, you'll never work another day in your life. What can you tell me? Yeah. You're going to go into sales or communication. And I say that because you're the magician. Somebody matches everything that you want in a partner. Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio. This person manifested this. Congratulations, Virgo. You manifested this. You manifested the person you've always wanted to be with and your job that you've always wanted to, to have or the life you've always wanted to have. You've been manifesting it. If you weren't sure, you're like, I don't know if I'm doing this right. Yes, you are. The angels are involved in this as well. Not even the angels, but the extraterrestrial beings. Angels don't exist. So, I see you. You made this happen. You realize I am God. Man or woman, you did it.
somebody's communicating, they're going to communicate to you with the magician. Huh. Yeah. Someone also, um, if it's Aries or Scorpio energy, like they have Virgo on their Mars or Aries or Scorpio and their Mercury, they're trying to get a little cheating or they're just stepping away from a relationship, getting out of a relationship because they don't want the relationship they're in. Okay? They don't want it. They don't want the relationship. They don't want the responsibility of the relationship if you're in a relationship. They know, yeah, Ten of Swords. They know Gemini and Mercury is not enough to be in a in a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it is, simply because of how the person looks or whatever. A relationship is ending with the Ten of Swords. A job is ending. This is a messy breakup. And even though it feels like it nearly kills you, it's rock bottom, right? It's over. You get something so much better. But you already know that, don't you? Because it's already in your life. You manifested it that way. There's something so much better already in your life. So what you originally had, right, like a relationship or a job, you get rid of. So you can have the Ten of Cups, Pisces and Mars, fame, a happy, happy um, awareness of what would make you happy in a partner. You get that because you decided not to settle. If you're single, you decided not to settle here. Okay? You realize what would really make you happy with the Ten of Cups. Who would really make you happy in a relationship? This is like a dream come true. <laughs> you get exactly what you want. And with death comes life. So whatever you've ended, it's okay because something so much beautiful is, is so much more beautiful is being born. This is man this is something that will man is is manifesting into the reality in the next eleven days. Okay? The sun. I mean, you just you have so many good cards, very well. I don't need them. It's exciting, it's fresh, it's inspiring, it's, it's happiness. This has been your reading, Virgo. If you'd like a personal reading information in the description box down below next to the butterfly. Thank you so much for supporting Psychic Sid. I say. <laughs>